Hey everyone, okay, so it's first thing in the morning here, as you can tell. There is absolutely nothing on my skin and I am filming this in natural daylight. Now this is probably one of the most fundamental, fundamentally important videos I've ever done. So all I'm gonna ask is that you stay to the end because halfway through this video, I think something really shocking is gonna happen. Now we all, I'm very honest about how I film in that I film with this really big strip of lights and these lights when turned on make you look infinitely better. So when people say, oh, your skin's so good, Wayne, you're aging backwards, I'm really not. Now my skin is recovering from that facial and I'm gonna turn these lights on and show you how different it looks. Okay, so here you go, the lights are on. Now I film with these lights. Now there's nothing on my skin. So you can imagine if I put some stuff on my skin, it's gonna look really, really flawless. And that's why I tend to look better in videos than I do in real life. I always think when somebody sees me in real life, they're like, mm. but that's just the nature of it. And I've always been honest about it. Now recently, let's turn these lights off so we can get a real impact. So recently I saw a video of a makeup artist and she's had a line out for 20 plus years, always talking about the natural look. And when I clicked on this video, it just was so odd to me because she literally looked her face and her hands looked like they were 20 years younger and she's probably in her mid to late 50s and i was just thinking what is something is not right here and then i went into youtube and clicked the time frame and found an interview with her for that month and she looked totally different from she did from this production based video then I came across another video, and this was of a woman, and she was applying makeup to a model. The makeup, the model skin was normal. It had a lot of pigment to it, a lot of freckling. And then she started to apply these foundations, and suddenly it was like, poof, her skin was like porcelain. And I mean, it was, I was thinking, oh my God, she's amazing. And then she pushed the product to the camera to show what she was using, like that. And as she put it to the camera, the filter in the background that was placed over the model's skin stop working and you could see all the pigmentation and the layers of foundation and then as she moved this product away the filter clicked back in and she looked poreless and flawless again and it is so fundamentally wrong and i started to google this and it's basically living photoshop and i bought one and i'm going to show you what it looks like now there you go there is nothing on my skin all that has happened is i've added a filter and it is bleached out my skin to such an extent and smoothed it. And the funny thing about this is I can manipulate this. I can make it more or less or do anything I want. And it costs like a hundred pounds, something like that. And it is so fundamentally wrong. And as I was researching this, I was coming across more and more videos of this kind of trickery. And it is trickery because it's giving the illusion that you can achieve this look. And this is extreme, but this look with these products when you can't, when it's not possible. Foundations, makeup can make you look more beautiful, more radiant, more wonderful, but they can't do this. Let's turn this off. And that's all this is a little bit of light coming through the blinds, but that's just it. See, this is what I look like now. You see the difference, so let's turn it back on. It's just wrong on every single level. Now, I want you to think when you're watching a makeup video that you can do this, you can achieve this, because honestly, if I can do it, trust me, you can do it. There ain't no talent here. It's all just been practiced. So, but you, what you can't do is achieve this look because it's not possible. Now, I don't know if I've mentioned, but I've turned the comment section off on this video because I don't want people speculating and leaving unpleasant comments on people's channels or on this page when I may not even be speaking about them or I may not even have seen any of their videos. I don't like that kind of negativity because I find it quite bullying and unpleasant when you're just slagging somebody off. I'm not trying to slag somebody off. I'm trying to, trying to bring to your attention that you're never gonna look like this. Get rid of this. That you're never gonna look like this, ever. You just can't because it's not physically possible. And this is why we feel so fucking ugly about ourselves because we're seeing these pictures on Instagram with the filters and the lights and now we're seeing them in living, moving motion and it is fundamentally wrong. Thank you for watching. I really hope that you took to heart what I was saying here and how wrong it is and how we need to um, just, we're never going to look like that, but we can look the best we can look with makeup. Absolutely. Please share this video because I feel it is an important topic. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.